We all know that fitting in allows you to blend in with everyone around you, but being different truly allows you to be yourself. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're learning about Jamina, the crooked necked giraffe. Jamina was a Rothschild giraffe born on the 16th of July, 1986 at the San Diego Wild Animal Park and was moved to Santa Barbara Zoo when she was approximately one year old. When she was born, she showed no signs of abnormality. However, when she was three years old, a small bump began to form on her neck. X-rays showed that the bones in her neck were beginning to fuse together, but vets couldn't find an explanation as to why. In the wild, Rothschild giraffes are one of the most endangered species of giraffe, with less than 2,000 estimated to be left. The Rothschild is easily distinguishable from other subspecies due to the colouring of their coat. It's paler, the orange-brown patches are less jagged and sharp in shape, and the connective channel is a lighter hue compared to other species. The Rothschild giraffe also displays no markings on the lower leg, giving the impression it's wearing white socks. Most newborn calves are over six feet tall, and within half an hour, they can stand and walk around on their own. However, Jemina was still stumbling and occasionally falling over when she was two years old. Although tests and x-rays showed no signs of injury, it's possible that her crooked neck was the result of a trip or fall. Slowly, over time, her neck vertebrae began to jut out at an awkward angle. In spite of her striking appearance, Jemina didn't exhibit any signs of being in pain. She received normal treatment by zookeepers and was accepted as a regular member of the herd. Very early on, Santa Barbara Zoo made the decision not to sensationalise Jemina. They could have very easily capitalised on her unique look by printing her silhouette on t-shirts and banners, but instead they decided that just wasn't their style. They responded to media requests, but didn't push the story. Jemina lived an almost normal life. The only difference was that she had to be fed separately. Zookeepers noted that her tongue was shorter than those of other giraffes and she did not have peripheral vision to the same extent that normal giraffes do. This type of vision is what allows giraffes to look at their feet and a few meters ahead while walking at the same time. It also helps them see objects close to their face, which is handy while eating. Despite her rare neck deformity, Jemina reached old age, outliving the average giraffe by almost six years. However, eventually, her health did begin to deteriorate and reluctantly, her keepers made the decision to euthanize her on the 9th of January, 2008. To this day, Jemina is still the most asked about animal at the zoo. During her lifetime, she was an inspiration for disabled children being featured on an episode of ABC's reality TV show, Miracle Workers. And that wasn't her only TV appearance. In its second season, The Bachelor, filmed a sunset dinner at the Santa Barbara Giraffe exhibit, and the couple met Jemina. A children's book, Jemina the Crooked Neck Giraffe, was also released in 2013. Her distinctive top six vertebrae, skull, and jawbone are now preserved and on display as part of Santa Barbara Zoo's Animals Inside Out exhibit. Julia Mahew, the Santa Barbara Zoo's Director of Public Relations, said, Jemina reminds us all that being different is just fine. She's a reminder to me not to blithely feed the media's appetite for the odd and outrageous. That we can tell a quieter story about being accepted in a herd of your peers and loved by a generation of visitors. That one giraffe can still stand tall, even with a crooked neck. And there we have it. Jemina the crooked neck giraffe who showed everyone that the most incredible beauty comes from embracing your own uniqueness. But how about you? How do you embrace your own uniqueness? 
let me know in the comment section below and of course don't forget to like and subscribe that's all we've got time for today but i'll see you all next week and as always stay unusual as usual if you've enjoyed this video you might like this one too if you want to see more abnormal animals you can check out the full playlist by clicking here don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video and if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about make sure you add it to the comment section below.